got this little video to um, show you how to make paper uh, and uh, sawdust briquettes to use on an open fire or on a wood burner. Uh, my granddaughter is going to help me uh, produce the blocks because it's that easy that even a little girl can do it. Okay, so what you need or what we've got is a press that was bought off the internet and uh, adapted and adjusted to make it uh, more useful for myself. Um, a tub for catching the bulk of the water and a bucket inside so you can empty it. Uh, a tub with holes in, so uh, that can become apparent, that goes into uh, just a washing up bowl. A tub for mixing um, the sawdust. Uh, a tub for mixing the paper. A tap is handy. Uh, and sawdust. A mixing machine, which is what the plaster is used for mixing plaster, bought off uh, the internet again, off screw fit plaster. Uh, a jug for ladling things. Over here is the paper, which uh, relatives and friends donate, which I keep in my cabin outside so it doesn't matter if it gets damp, in fact, it's a bit, a bit better if it is damp. And these are all bits of pipe that I've uh, cut up, piece of plastic pipe that were left, that you use as spacers to put on um, a piece of wire. This is actually a coat hanger uh, bent over for a storage. You will need a pair of pliers and um, a screwdriver. And that's all you need to produce these, which are briquettes which burn quite well on a fire. They're easy and cheap to make. Right, we'll show you how to make them. So what we're going to do is uh, put some water in this. And Abby's now going to put paper in for us. So use about 10 sheets, don't it boil up. 10 sheets. Don't just squeeze it up too much. Push that down into the water, like that, and then we add one cup of sawdust. That's sawdust that's just soaked in water, and then we repeat the process until we've got 40 sheets in and four tubs of soaked sawdust. Okay? So as in the best traditions of uh, Blue Peter, I have some which we've done earlier. Um, because it doesn't take that long to soak, uh, but the mixer will not um, mix it up properly, it won't rip the paper up unless it's soaked. So leave, you need to leave it once you've got them all in about 10 minutes, maybe, maybe less. So if you do four buckets at a time, by the time you've done this next operation, your first of your four next buckets will be ready to, uh, to mix up. So by the time I've done this, we'll go back to using the mixing machine and I'll show you how it works. So, what we need to do now is to tip the mix into here. Like that. And just let it drain for a second or two. You can see that the, all the water is draining out through the holes that we put in it. All these buckets were provided by uh, a friend of mine who's a plasterer, uh, sorry, a tiler.
Some were provided by uh, other people, but most of them came from a friend of mine, Sir Tyler. The sawdust comes from a, a friend who's uh, got a joiner's shop. All of it's free, so as you can see, it's quite uh, it's quite good to get stuff for free to make fuel. So Abby's going to put some of this in here now. Uh -huh. Doesn't matter how squidgy it is. Doesn't matter how long you've left it. I'll squeeze that down a bit. I'll squeeze it a bit harder. Yeah. So you see the water starting to come out the bottom of the press now. Right. So what we do now is we just slightly push that down. Right. Lift them up a bit, abs. And then we just add a little bit more. Like that. There we go. Right, at this stage I give it a little bit of help. You get the press down to just about there. Obviously the more water you can get out, um, the quicker the block dries. So I'll just tip the press up slightly to get the remainder of the water out, it's lodged in the top. So the more you can get out, the quicker the block dries. Hey, Larry. Lift the uh, press handle up, pull the plate out, and that leaves you, okay, that leaves you with that. So if you just slide the lid slightly, put that bad in. I will show you there, there is a nail, the, a bolt that I've drilled and put in there to produce a hole uh, that looks like three quarters of the way through. So that's quite a soggy wet block now. It's firm enough, won't break apart, but we couldn't put it on the fire. So, what you do now, so with the block you've got now and the hole that it's, it's made part of the way through, uh, just put the screwdriver in to bring it through to the other side. Take your straightened coat hanger, push that through, like that, yeah, and then Abby will put a space on. Doesn't matter which one, like that. That's then ready for your uh, next block to go on. This is one that uh, I did yesterday, so that goes on there, like that. More space on top, and so on and so on until you get a 10 on, and then they come up there to dry. Can't put them outside in summer. The only snag with this is finding enough room to uh, to get them to hang up to dry. They do dry quite quickly in the summer, but it is a summer occupation, not a winter one. So uh, thanks very much for that. Hope it's helped you. Uh, that's all. So what I didn't show you is uh, is this. It's now been only about five or six minutes, um, and there's only one uh, set of sets in. So there's only ten sheets and one uh, thing. So it would be a lot a lot deeper than this. But what we do is turn the thing on first. Just, uh, There we go. That's uh, that squidged up. Obviously, with more in it, it's not as messy because the bulk, the blades go right down to the bottom and the bulk's above it. But you can see from this one now that the water's, the water's almost finished dripping out. Uh, it's a lot more solid than it was before. Yeah? So, uh, there you go. That's it.